I'm Butch and Toll from Alpen House. Thank you for renting with us. Today we're going to go over the Thor Chateau Class C. This is the LP tank and it's filled before you take it. This is the on off knob. You turn it to the left and it's on. Turn it to the right, it goes off. You have a, a gauge here that'll tell you how much is in there, but it will also show inside on the monitor panel. If you do run out, most RV parks supply LP gas. You pull up, they'll fill it up for you, and you should be on your way. This is the potable water fill. This is where you would carry the onboard water for your use in the motorhome while you're traveling. If you happen to run out, remove the cap, and you can take a water hose and refill the, the tank and you'll be on your way. This is our short cord. It is a 30 amp short cord. It's about 30 feet long. When you're plugged in at an RV park, this will uh, supply power to all your electrical devices, your air conditioner, the refrigerator, your microwave, even a hot water tank has a heater in it. So you may be able, it'll use that on this. You should be able to run everything off this cord. And there's also an adapter. If you're, if you're going to be plugging into your home, you put this adapter on, use a 12 gauge lead cord, you can plug it into your house and you could run just about everything in the motorhome. This is your coax hookup. This coaxial wire will screw into here and it'll go into the same post that your electric hookup and your water hookup are. This is provided by the campgrounds and you will be able to bring in the stations that they have on their cable network. This is the dump station, not the most pleasant place, but it's, it's, you'll need to do this on longer trips. You're gonna to need to dump the tanks, and I'm gonna show you just how to do that. If you notice, this is a black handle. This is for what we call the black tank. The black tank is gonna hold the toilet waste. When dumping, hook your hose here and into the ground at the dump station. Pull the black valve first. That way there, after you're done dumping the black tank, we'll switch over to the gray tank. The gray tank is gonna be the soapy water from your kitchen sink, your shower, and your vanity bathroom. Pull the gray tank last. It's gonna do two things. One, it's gonna dump the tank and it's gonna clean out the hose and you won't have that odor in your hose carrying around with you. This is your city water connection. This is where you're gonna plug one end of your hose that we supply into here, and then over to the post where your water, your electric, and your cable will be. They should all be on the same post. Hook it up there, turn that water on. You'll have water at all your faucets and your toilet. You can take your showers and not have any interruption in your water. This is the outside of the water heater. This is for service part only. And if you do encounter a problem, you can call our service department or take advantage of the coach net that we offer on your rental. This is the outside of the generator. To, relieve, to remove the cover, there's two levers. Flip them towards the back of the coach. Pull out, lift up, and take the cover off and place it on the ground. There's a circuit breaker on here. If there's an overload in the coach, this breaker will trip. It's to save the generator. And it's a toggle switch located right down here. As long as the toggle switch is forward, then you will have power in the coach. If it's flipped towards the back, then you'll have to just reset it. You don't have to shut the generator down but you'll have to shut the appliances off on the inside before you re-engage that breaker switch. This is the generator start stop switch. In order to start your generator, first hold the button to stop and you're gonna see a red LED light turn on, you count to 10. What I'm doing, I'm priming the generator to make it easier for it to start. Then hold the button down on start after 30 seconds, the generator will turn kick on the electricity 
you'll be able to run all your electri 110 electrical appliances inside the motorhome. This is your awning switch. You notice you have extend and retract. To extend, simply hold this button in place till the awning comes out. And on the awning tube itself, when a label appears, you're to stop. This is the battery disconnect switch. If you're not plugged into shore power, and you're only using your RV battery for power, make sure that this is in the used position. And this will take care of all the appliances that require 12 volts to operate. This is your monitor panel. This is going to tell your fluid levels and your battery condition. Your LP gas, which is your propane, is showing two thirds full battery. Fresh water is empty, black is empty, and gray is empty. These are to monitor your fluid levels. You'll be able to tell if your tanks are full if you need to dump or if you need to add water to the fresh tank. This button is going to control your slide out. To extend the slide, simply hold the button in. Hold the button until the motors stop. Try not to let go of the button while you are traveling out or in. Keep the button depressed throughout the motion. These two buttons here are for the tank heaters. It's gonna keep things from freezing in the tank. Then you have your water pump. This is your onboard pump. It's an on-demand pump. So when you turn a faucet on, the pump goes on. When you turn the faucet off, the pump goes off. So it's on demand and it's using the potable water that you've filled the tank with. This is your water heater. This is the LP side. Flip it on. The ignition will start. You have ignition and you let it run until it reaches temperature. This is the 110 side of the water heater. It's quiet. You won't hear it. Turn that on while you're plugged in at park, RV park, and you'll have hot water all the time that you're here. This is a Norcold refrigerator. You have two switches. First you have your on off, on to auto. When it's on auto, your refrigerator is gonna automatically go to electricity first, 110 first. And if you're unplugged, it'll switch over to gas. If you flip the switch over to gas, it'll run on gas only. You could run this while you're driving down the road. Just make sure you turn it off when you're fueling up. The other switch over here is going to be your settings for your cold. In a warmer weather, strongly suggests keep it on five and your food will stay fresh. This is your kitchen stove. To light the burners, you simply turn the lever to light, turn the spark clockwise till you have ignition. On your oven, turn the knob to pilot. Come down with your lighter. Right side of your burner underneath, you're gonna see a pilot. Once you light, once you bring your lighter in there, you'll see it. Depress the, the button on the on the control, hold it in, light your light your pilot, wait 15 seconds, and then you'll be able to turn it on. Alright, this is uh, where your power booster is for your TV antenna. If you notice to the right of this coax wire, there's a little button. If you depress it and it'll stay depressed, that means your power booster is on. This is going to enhance your, your signal from your antenna. You'll be able to pull in the local stations that are around you. Now, if you are going to be hooked up to cable, this switch needs to be off. With it on, it's going to you're not going to be able to pull in the cable channels. So in when you're using the TV antenna, out when uh, you're going to be hooked to cable. Your TV antenna, it's not like the older ones that you have to crank up. This one is already in the up position. And if to try to tune in your station, simply hold in the side button 
and you'll be able to turn your antenna to bring in a better station. Your in-dash radio will control your backup camera, your radio, DVD player, CD player, and your Bluetooth. If your unit has a radio in the bedroom, it is Bluetooth compatible, and it has an A and B speaker system. So you can either have outside speakers on alone, or the inside speakers on alone, or both. If you happen to be renting a 31E, you have a television in each bunk, but each TV will not receive cable or antenna, but it does have a DVD player built in. The thermostat is similar to the one that you have in your house. You have different settings. For the AC, you slide this switch to cool and your AC will turn on, but make sure you're either running on auto high or high because in, in warmer weather, you, if not, you could freeze it up and it'll stop running. This is Butch and Toll signing off from Alpen House Rentals. This is the Thor Chateau. I hope our video was informative. If you have any questions, please call our service department and happy camping.